Hello people, right, it's going to be a little um, side project to the Let's Play now. Uh, I've just seen a couple of people who have just started, I've got a few friends who have started and people seem to have very little idea of what you're actually supposed to do on this game. Obviously at the moment it is just build and hope for the best until they add the combat in basically. Well that's how I'm playing it anyway, but this is going to be like a new player tutorial seeing as, well... I did play the alpha, then I come back to the closed base and I just had no idea what I was doing really. So now I've kind of learned a bit more about what you're actually supposed to do. Um, I'm going to share the knowledge and hopefully help someone who's just starting out or anyone who's been watching the Let's Play and thought, oh, I want to jump on, but I'm clueless. Um, so yeah. Basically, any well, anyone who's watching this now who has the game is going to start off a founder's pick, considering you got the founder's thing. But just for the, the sake of... Uh, making this last in case it's the same uh, when the game actually releases, which I doubt, doubt, doubt. Uh, you'll start with a stone pick, which I can actually get if I go back to this, wherever the treasure chest is. Yeah, so, the, yeah, the stone pickaxe is mining tier 1, and the founder's pickaxe is actually mining tier 2. So if you have the founder's pickaxe, you can literally miss out the stone pick entirely. But if you don't have the founder's pickaxe and you've started and are now like, Ouch! What do I do if you're going to skip the first tier? It's to get the founders, uh, to get the copper pickaxe, which is the one you're going to have to get. Which the founders don't need to get. You don't need to get the co uh, the copper at all. Seeing as we're at mining tier two already, and if you go to the copper uh, pick, that's actually mining tier two as well. So for anyone who has a founders pickaxe, you can just skip that entirely, unless you want to do it. But you can have a collection. I didn't personally. Um, you'll skip straight to the iron one, which I'll come to. Uh, right, so. What I'd recommend is if you're just sort of running around thinking, what do I do? How do I do anything? Because first thing you're going to do is want to click I. That's to get your inventory open. Uh, you'll get your founder's pickaxe and just, well, you can literally just drag it down to your toolbar. It should be there already, actually. But yeah, if it, if it isn't, just drag it down. And then when you press, I dragged it to slot three. And when you click slot three, that's it. And then you'll have, um, you can't actually mine anywhere close to this portal spire. So you'll have to come out here and then you'll see these little patches should be copper and it's not copper it's is this agates or something if you click this basically if you want the chat and loot you can just drag the loot out like this so it is agates yeah so yeah you can just drag the loot like down um the window down that's what i usually do just in case someone tries to talk to me but yeah at the moment i don't know if you actually need these you will i think you'll eventually need these agates so it's worth just when you first start, it's worth getting everything. Here's copper. It's a tiny vein, but sometimes it does this. It'll go tiny, but it'll go like really deep down. So make sure you don't just harvest the top. Because to be honest, when I first started, even in the first Let's Play, I was just sort of getting the top. And I didn't really ever really go down too uh, deep into the vein. And that's actually a bad thing because at the... I'm not sure what's at the, I think sometimes you find like agates or something at the end of these, but... It's more on like on cobalt ore, when you get to the end you'll get like gold, when you get to the end of iron there's more tin and tin's usually actually kind of hard to find just out on the, the surface, well I found, I've always found tin pretty hard to find. But so what you want to do is, see how much copy you've actually got, you can just go in here, um, press I and then click the tab up there and then uh, wherever the copper is, I think that's the copper itself. Yeah so you want to aim, if you're getting the copper pick as well you want to get about 600 copper so that's six ingots it says it requires six and then you want six elemental copper so elemental copper is i'm not sure if i got any just then yeah i did so elemental copper is just a rare but it, it comes from the same place it's just a rare harvest of it so you'll be getting copper and elemental copper i have one of these accessories um which is assessor's mark which gives you a bit more chance of getting one i'm not sure how much it really works but that's another thing as well, if you press H and then press I, if you're a founder who went silly and got the Ring of Bounty and the Crafting Ring, you can also just drag them over, or I think you can just right click on them, yeah you can. Yeah, so you can just right click on the rings and that'll go into your character sheet, and then you can see your character sheet by pressing H. And that goes the same with the Nobles Regalia or what other outfits you have. So yeah, what, the next step is basically just get more copper. You can also, if you press um, L, I was just checking even though I've pressed it a million times already. Yeah, you press L and if you want to say get the 
well, so if you're working on the copper pick, you can just click on here and click start tracking. Then you can keep track of what you actually have. Uh, in terms of the copper ingots, you can't actually do that, but you can just go down to metal and then start tracking. So you see I've got 7,500, so I know I can build um, 75 copper ingots. So yeah, that's kind of, it's pretty handy with stuff like that. Uh, so what you want to keep track of is, because you're also, it depends what you want to do. If you want to start claiming something now, and like getting your claim down and stuff like that, then you want to get a claim flag, which is here. So all that requires is literally 300 copper and one heartwood, which is just, it's like the elemental copper, but from trees, basically. It's not even that rare, actually. It's not as rare as that. Um, that's something that you should work on as well while you're getting this. So all in all, you're going to need uh, to get a, oh, and a stone forge as well, which you actually build from a stone forge. Uh, no, you don't. I'm lying. You build it from a tinkerer's workshop, which all of this stuff is back at the, um, the portal spire anyway, so you can use them. Or you can, usually there's going to be someone's claim, like the, even just there, there's someone's claims there, um, right next to the portal, fire, so, uh, portal spire that has crafting stations on it. So with the stone forge, that's 1,500 copper, or like 15 ingots, 50 coal, 2,100 stone, and 15 elemental copper. So you're going to need about 21 elemental copper. Uh, for the copper pick and the stone forge, but then again most of you have found this anyway So for now just forget about the copper pick even exists because we don't need that. I never got it either So oh, something else is mining around here So yeah, if you just Get all of that and the woods you can use your founders pickaxe or you'll have your stone axe um, You all you, all you have to do is left click once and it does it for you So I use the grappling hook you won't have that yet. I shouldn't have done that So you're getting the plain wood logs, which is also used for coal and how you'll do that is literally go to the stone forge or like a forge, go to crafting components and then coal. So 10 wood equals 10 coal. So if you get um, 50 plain, it has to be plain wood as well. So make sure you're getting, well, these sort of trees, the plain trees, not the bold ones or anything. So once you've got 50 plain wood logs, um, then you're good for the coal. And see how I'm getting heartwood from this. It's just like literally when a green one flies out, that means you've got a heartwood. And it's kind of handy. So with the coal, like with the stone, obviously you're just you're mining the floor, so you're gonna get stone. Uh, some most of the time it's actually dirt. So if you're really really struggling with stone, just literally go to like the built up like sort of mountainous areas, and then it it goes to a bit more coal uh, stone. Sorry, you can actually get coal from the floor as well, but it's definitely don't farm it that way. It's so much easier to get it through the trees. And yeah, with the claim flag, obviously you only need one heartwood, which I would have had, and 300 copper. So once you've got that, you can... Let's just say, for instance, you've got the copper pick now. So you've got eight heartwood from the trees, and the elemental, and the copper ingots. And then obviously you don't need the copper anymore. And we've got enough for the stone forge, even though I don't. So yeah, now I'll come back to the, the portal spire. When I get there, I'll just speed it up a bit with a grappling hook. I'd recommend getting the grappling hook as fast as you can. Not the the first one's okay, but the the upgraded one is just so good for just doing that. That's oh, a bit laggy in here. All right, so here's a stone forge that's on the portal spire, and you'll want to uh, just scroll down, go to metal, and then your copper ingots there. You want to get like how many did I say you needed? It's fifteen and six, so twenty-one. So you want to get 21 ingots, so you, just, you can just click it like that, or you can just go like that and type in 21. And then just hit craft, and it'll just put a slider, you know how it goes. And then just do it like that, so just say we've done 21, and then you'll go back in here. And the copper pick should be available now, if you have the heartwood as well. If not, go and farm the stuff. Craft that, now you've got the copper pick. And then you want the tinkerer's workshop, which is this one over here, that looks a bit like mad. And you click that, and then the claim flag is just the first item craft one of them so you'll have one of them and it'll go in your inventory just like that there's claim flag i already got one one i did before and then just scroll down and you'll see the crafting stations and then you can build a stone forge to be honest it's probably record if you've got enough stone and stuff to do it then just do it like if you're going to claim something it's, it's very worth having all the stations that you're claim um because there's another item you can use which is i've got one here as well uh, in utility this these portal shards basically you can Actually, I might as well craft a couple of them now, since I've got enough. So I need another seven. So if I go back to here, I'll just can show you first hand. So I need seven copper ingots. Just click it like that. Right, 
Right, so once you've got the seven, uh, it's if you're gonna go silly and go stupidly far out and not want to get back and want to get back to the portal spy, this it's probably worth you building one of these as well. So now you've got the portal shards, which is only five ingots. Um, yeah, you can see it there, five ingots, and it's one elemental copper and a couple of a gates. Seeing as I mined the a gates just outside, it's kind of there. So I've got them, and then literally, like, if you want to use one of them, you can just like right click and then you see my two claims here and the portal spire so if you go really far out and think oh, I really can't be bothered to get back to the portal spire then that's a different way you can also hit M uh, so if say I was over here I could see the portal spire is here and it's an easier way to get back to the portal spire just just to help with navigation or you can keep an eye on your compass and whatever bearing you're running just sort of hard, like go back on the, the opposite bearing and there's uh, Ryan ex exploring on his own so yeah that's for the first part, that's probably like... Or well, let's see if if you've got a claim flag now. I might actually make this a different part with the claims, actually. Just so like people know that it's split up. So yeah, if you've got this now, the next step will be to like get your claim down. And you'll want to head on... For any founders who are now actually wanting to build a, a new pickaxe, it's going to be the iron pickaxe. So you can track that. Um... With, if you've got the Founder's Pickaxe, you'll obviously be able to mine uh, iron and stuff. And if you haven't, then you'll have the copper one by now. And you should be able to mine iron. And this is going to require a different, a rarer wood. It's not really where it kind of is. We need to get another material to merge it with to make another hot wood. So it's a different tier up. And then that's it, basically. And with the axes, it's probably worth me running through these as well. Because you're going to need to, if you don't have the Founder's Pick it's very worth well you just have to like to get the the extra pickaxes on the high level when you are uh, harvesting them trees and stuff so i'll run through that on the next part but thanks for watching and then hope if you've got any questions fire them away and then yeah subscribe for more videos i'm going to be doing a whole series on this until i get to the end so if you want to follow it then feel free to subscribe and stuff and yeah i'll see you in the next part